Hello and welcome to the video. This is a video about collecting all of the videos that I've got around getting into fixed wing. So whether you've never flown fixed wing or you have flown quadcopters and you want to do fixed wing or whether you're brand new to radio control and don't even know what the basic stuff of all the radios banging on about or whether like Rog Van you've been in the hobby for a little while and you're coming back into it and everything seems very different. I thought it was worthwhile putting this video together with all the links below for all the content I'm going to talk about to kind of explain how to use the content because although at the end of every video I talk about how you can find content and use the playlist, all the content on the video is organized into playlists to make it easy to use because there are so many videos on this Painless 360 channel now, it can be a little bit overwhelming and looking for a needle in a haystack. So let's start at the very beginning. For those of you that have never done any uh, radio control before, uh, if all of this looks very, very complicated and uh, a little bit over your head, don't worry. I have a playlist called Introduction to Remote Control. Uh, remote control rather than radio control because that's probably more likely what a new yeah, un indoctrinated pilot would call it and that's what they'd search for. If you go in there, talks about the different parts of a RC system. It talks about what radios do, how it all works, what dual rates are, what uh, things like exponential is, how it all works. By watching that series, it'll explain all of the basics and get you over a lot of the terminology, the language, and the three and four letter acronyms that pepper the hobby. So if you're ever watching another video and something isn't quite making sense, you're probably able to find a video on it in that series. If, however, you understand how radios work, the next place I direct you to is going to be the simple wing building series. That's where I put a wing together, we plugged it all together and we got it flying. Uh, that is only two or three videos and very short and sweet. And it's really aimed at just showing how simple it can be to set a radio control model up that can fly. Now, I use wings for some of the basic setup. Uh, they're not the things that I would recommend starting out with. There are better options for that. Uh, things like a Bixler or an AXN, those kind of models are really good. And again, those are in the reviews list, but I'll put links down to them below. If you're interested in trying FPV, then there's an introduction to FPV series that talks about all of that FPV stuff, talks about antennas, how they all work, what the differences are. And then if you want to actually pop an FPV system onto your model, it's very cheap and cheerful and inexpensive and simple to do these days. I've got a video on that too. Last video I'll talk about for this introductory level is also the simple plane setup. Now it's using OpenTX, which is a very popular radio in the hobby, uh, particularly if you have been flying quadcopters made by FreeSky. These radios are pretty much everywhere these days. Uh, that goes through the simple plane setup right from the very beginning, talks through each of the individual step and the things you have to do around center of gravity, throws, exponential, all that stuff to get a simple plane set up really well and flying great. If, however, you have a model that's a little bit more complicated than that, that might have flaps or retractable landing gear, you want to know how to set that up on an OpenTX radio, then the next video is this one here, which is the complex plane setup. And that's where I use a couple of tricks like a servo checker to actually check the limit of movement and to go through and almost program the radio rather than do it iteratively by trial when you're setting the radio up, you can kind of do all your measurements, set the radio up, plug it together and just do a little bit of fine tuning. Very handy when you have scale flaps that retract um, into the wing itself. You don't want that to retract too far and get into trouble. But also very handy for things like scale landing gear uh, where you want the gear to come down and rise in a nice scale fashion. If you are a quadcopter pilot that's coming into fixed wing, there are five or six common mistakes that I see quadcopter pilots making. So I've talked about those in this video here, and I've also done another video where I went to see one of my Patreons, and we had a flying day. Uh, he'd had a really tough time and was making some of those basic mistakes, and in an hour of setting up, we actually managed to get two successful flights out of it. So go and have a look at those two videos. Again, links down below. If you are a quadcopter pilot and you either want to give it a go, so you can avoid some of the pitfalls, or more commonly what tends to happen is quadcopter pilots have a go at it, uh, have a really horrible time, and that's when I usually get the message. So I would recommend have a look at those videos before you have a go. It will save you a lot of broken models and time putting everything back together. 
if you want to put flight controllers um, and other things inside the model, not just FPV and a receiver, then there is an awful lot of information on the channel. There is a fixed wing flight controller comparison video here that talks about the differences uh, between RD Pilot, iNav and other things like Vector as well. There's a huge choice right now and there aren't any really bad choices, um, but I cover that in that video. And then I have complete series of builds, things like the iNav 2.1 builds, where I put iNav into a flying wing, uh, into a V-tail and a conventional plane, going through all of those. And more recently, I've put Ardu Pilot, or, or Ardu Plane, part of the Ardu Pilot family, onto a couple of flight controllers in a couple of flying wings as well and had a fantastic time. So hopefully that gives you an idea of where to go. Again, all the links are down below. So whether or not you're starting out at the very beginning of your journey and don't know anything about radio control, or whether you have a little bit of experience and maybe you want to go and try something like Ardu Plane or iNav 2.1, 2.2 in your latest model, then there is pretty much a video that should sort you out. So hopefully that helps. Uh, don't be put off. Um, everybody has been through the same problems that you have as part of your journey learning to fly fixed wing a badly set up fixed wing will give you a really tough time uh, a well set up fixed wing model will make it much easier to learn to fly and it, that is covered in the videos that i've mentioned again if you have any comments or questions leave them on one of those relevant videos i do try and read every single comment on the channel and i'll do my best to point you in the right direction Thanks for watching the video and watching right to the very end. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you like the video and like what I'm doing here, then hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification icon too. If you really like what I'm doing, you can go the extra mile and become one of my Patreons for access to me directly for support and also giveaways and regular updates too. If you're looking for particular content, then check out the playlist. I organize all of my videos into playlists. So if you're looking for a particular topic, you can find everything here. If it's called Introduction To, it's designed to start very simply and build on that simple introduction to teach you all about it. If it's called For Beginners, then that is really aimed at people who are brand new to that part of the hobby. You can also search on YouTube for anything that you're interested in using the search function at the top. So iNav Painless 360 will find all of my videos and even the playlists around iNav. So thanks again for watching and happy flying.